Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's uh, Sunday the 9th of November 2025. I hope you are keeping well. Our current, <laughs> sorry, currently I am uh, doing my dance with my cat. My Sunday dance. What happens? <laughs> the cat knows that he has to go for some painful treatment on a Sunday. Don't ask me how he knows what day of the week it is, uh, but he does. It's, it's, it's after about a week and he recognizes the fact that he needs to go to the hospital because it's been about a week. I think that's how he judges it. And so uh, at the moment, um, when, as soon as I walk near him, he's rushing away uh, to hide. And then when I feign indifference uh, or go to a, a, neg a neutral place, he'll come out and into the open. And if I walk near him, he'll disappear again. <laughs> so it's a kind of dance that we have to do on a Sunday. Uh, um, I figure if I come in here and play uh, Sudoku, that might induce him to go and sleep somewhere for a little while somewhere that's not too difficult for me to grab hold of him and stick him in the box <sighs> poor thing what's going on in the world in the philippines apparently a super typhoon is on the way super typhoon fung wong i, I think that's pronounced um and uh if, like me, you have no idea what a super typhoon is and are about to Google it, uh, I can save you the trouble because I found out it's it's uh, a, a typhoon that has to be over, oh no, I've forgotten the figure, 148 kilometers per hour, I think it was. I think that's what I looked up because uh, I'd never heard of a super typhoon before. Um, super in, super with, um, uh, super as a descriptive adjective uh, often means good. Uh, in our modern parlance, of course, super can just mean large or huge or something like that. And I, or above, I should say. I think that's the correct definition of it. Um, but uh, anyway, it's obviously not a great thing. If you are in the Philippines, please take care. Please uh, make sure you are in an area that is going to be safe according to uh, um, forecasts. And if not, if you are asked to evacuate, please follow the instructions. Save yourself. Remember, I know it's t tempting to worry about your property and assets and stuff like that. But really, without your life, you have no assets, right? Shall we get on with our game of Sudoku then? This is from the LA Times expert level Sudoku section. We're going to start with six and four blocking across here like that, which is going to give me a six and a four in that in those squares and leave me here with something else. Three, five, eight, which is not much use as I see it. But anyway. looking to see if I can get anything out of that. I'm not sure about that. Uh, never mind, I've seen something else now. We've got ones blocking like this and a one up here, so this will be a better way in. Always looking for a way in. Eight blocks down here, eight blocks all the way to the end here, eight blocks down there, down there, and we've got only two possibilities for the eight in this bottom row. We must block this square here. That will give us an eight there. I'm not uh, sure what to do next, so let's just go through in order, see if we can spot anything. Uh, 
Uh, do you know, I think I found something. I've got 8, 2, and 9 across here. Oh, no, 8 could also be there. I'll, uh, no, we've got 8 in one of these squares, right? So that can't be 8. Okay, so we've got 8. <sighs> Excuse me. We've got 2s in those squares, you agree? We've got 9s in those squares there, there we go, 9, 2 down here, 9, 2 across there, that gives me a pair of 9 and 2 there, right, now I said before we got 8 in one of those squares there, actually 2 of those squares there, because this is 6 and 4, so 8 blocks across there, 8 blocks across there, that will give me an 8 there, and 8 down here, down there, and across there, so this is 2 and 9, uh, what did I set up here? This is three, five, eight, right? So five. Okay, five is in one of these squares here, blocking across. Five blocks up here, and five will have to be in one of these two squares because this is only two or nine. So that can't be five. That must be five. Five to the top. Seven blocking these two squares here, seven blocking this square, so in this column there's our seven. Alright, let's try doing what I was going to do before okay three is in one of these two squares blocking across there Three blocks across that way, that's our three. And we have 1 and 3 blocking up here, 1 and 3 blocking up there. So we've got a pair of 1 and 3 in those squares there. Uh, now, how does that help? I don't know, but it gives us 5s in those squares. Does that do anything? 5 blocking down here, 5 blocking across here, and 5 in one of, sorry, in one of those two squares there blocking across. So it certainly does. It gives us a 5 there. Uh, so once again this is 2 and 9 so the missing numbers here are 6, 6 blocking there, there's the 6 and 8 which must go there oh sorry not here <laughs> this is 2 and 9, this is 7 sorry must go there, my apologies 7 blocking across, 7 down there proof again, if proof were ever needed that I play these games live with no practice or any idea about working the things out beforehand I'm always playing live. Uh, missing digit here is four. Three blocks down here, three blocks across here like this. But when we go in this direction, we can see three is either here or here. So blocking down, that will give us three there. Five. 
five blocks this square five blocks this square so in this column there's our five We're very empty up here, aren't we? We're very unbalanced here. We have a completely white block here. It's not good. Uh, okay, so I said one and three blocking up here, one and three blocking up here. So now I, so that's one and three in those squares. So then when the six blocks up here, that must be the six, mustn't it? Okay, back down here for a four. Four blocking across here, across there, down there. And three and four blocking up. So that's three and four in those squares. And back down here is the one. No. <laughs> two almost messed it up again six box down there there's our six this must be a nine I think it's two to finish this column isn't it and nine in this square here okay still unbalanced still we've done everything on the left we haven't done anything on the right yet Certainly the top right is empty. Um, right, now this was one and three. So we now know that this has to be four, five, seven. So seven blocking down here, seven across there, seven across there. There's a seven. Six blocking this square. We need six in this row. It goes there. This is a two. Two blocking across here will give us two in that square. This is one and nine. Nine blocking down there. There's the nine. There's the one. One more digit to go here. Is it a six? I think it is. And this is nine. Aha. Nine blocking up, that gives us the nine there and a two in that square there. And we still haven't touched this top right. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. But it must be easier. Now, two blocking up here, two across there, that will give me a two in that square. And I'm sure we're going to get our first digit here. There we go. That's the final digit, two. Uh, we still need a one in this column. Does that do anything for us? No, it gives us ones in those squares there. Uh, but I think we'll just go around and around now. Three. Somewhere we've got to hit an easy number, I'm sure of it. Six blocking here, six across there, there's our six. This will be a four blocking across there, there's the four. Six blocking like this. So there's our six. One blocking across it up there, so one is either here, oh no, it's not there, one blocking up there, that will give us a one in that square there. One across this way, one up there, should finish off ones, this is a three. 
Seven and eight block up here. We need seven and eight in this top row. That means that seven and eight must be in those squares, and the other number to finish the row is four. And in fact, we've got an eight blocking that square there. So that is the eight, and that is the seven. Seven blocking up here, up there, seven there. We'll finish the game really here, I think. That's a three, isn't it? And uh, what's this? Eight blocking up here, there's the eight, there's a five, five blocking up there, there's a five, five across that way, there's a five missing digit here, four, four blocking that way, there's a four, there's a three, a three back that way, there's a three, and a nine is going to finish the game for me. And uh, not sure about how if I open the door, whether the cat is going to be asleep yet or not, or whether he's found a hiding place which is really difficult for me to. to stretch into and remove furniture to get him out <laughs> and he'll be dirty when he get does come out showing me up at the hospital <laughs> all right take care bye bye